Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a full face tutorial, fall inspired, of course. I wanted to play with some makeup. I have a lot of makeup that I've ordered from just online and also from the 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta. So there's a little bit of everything and then I will probably mix in some old makeup, nothing new, but we're just gonna have fun. So you already know, Grab your cafecito if you are ready to get glam with me or if you just want to watch me with your cafecito and your blankets, whatever it is, get comfy and let's go ahead and start with today's beat. Before we jump into the video, I quickly wanted to shout out to Dossier for working with me in this portion of the video. If you guys have been watching me, you know that I've been working with them for a very long time and I am so blessed to be working with them. They're such a great company and the team that is behind Dossier is just super amazing. But anyways, if you haven't heard of them, you're like, what? Who's Dossier? What? Let me catch you up, okay? So they are a fragrance, cruelty-free, clean ingredient brand and they base their scents off of luxury scents as, uh, off of high-end scents. That's what I meant. So they have so many scents to choose they have unisex they have for women and they also have for men i actually got my husband one he's not home i wish i could record his reaction but i will be sure to record it and then maybe post it in another video but i got some new perfumes and i feel so spoiled every time i get a perfume so for example ysl black opium if you guys have smelled that perfume it smells amazing i had never smelled it i recently went to ulta and i smelled it i was like this smells really good and then when I noticed that Dossier had a cheaper version of it, I was like, I need this in my hand. So the one that I have here is called Floriental Vanilla, and this is what it looks like. It's a huge bottle, you guys. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce. You get so much, and they're so affordable. And if you don't like it, they do have a little tester that you can spray it on yourself, wear it throughout the day, see if the chemistry between your body and the scent goes. If not, you can return it for no questions asked. But this one... Oh my gosh, this smells rich, luxe. Like, I cannot tell a difference between this and the actual um, black opium. It smells really, really good. I think I'm going to wear this tonight because we are going to go out tonight. So, the other one that I wanted to share with you is like total polar opposites. But this one is called Fruity Orange. And this one is inspired by Clinique's Happy. I love very fruity, floral, girly scents. And this one is exactly that it's very summerish springish but i will still wear it because it's just such a fresh citrus scent and mm, it smells amazing i'm not gonna sp okay i'm gonna spray a little bit just so i can I know that the holidays are coming up so if you're wanting some like holiday gift ideas these are definitely amazing or if you have any birthdays coming up I highly uh, recommend these. Uh, thank you Dossie for partnering up with me now let's jump and uh, beat this face. Ow. <laughs> let's get right into it. Can I just say how beautiful these eyelashes are from Ilore? Wild and wispy. Look at how cute they're definitely very wild and very wispy and I'm here for it. I don't know what palette I'm going to use. I'm quickly just going to show you what I have. Look at how gorgeous this palette is from Lorac. This is a brand that I haven't bought anything from them in years. This is their Soleil palette and I got to this one from the 21 Days of Beauty. And then um, I also have here the new Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar and Python palettes. Oh my gosh. I think Huda has to be one of my favorite brands when it comes to like eyeshadow palettes they're just such great quality and oh this is the one that came broken this one came broken and i did get a replacement but i don't know which palette i want to use before we get into all that let's just go ahead and prime the skin i also picked up the urban decay all nighter face primer this is the grip it preps smooths and perfects uh this one is again from the 21 days of beauty i should have grabbed a primer for my pores I'm already in here and because I changed my setup I have like a little bit of space which is what I wanted because I felt like I was being so extra messy because I had so much room to work with you know what I mean so I'm just going to apply this onto the skin my face is a little bit bruised so it's a little bit sensitive uh, last week I went and got fillers I haven't had any fillers in like two years and I didn't film the process just because I was in a hurry and it was such a hectic day I almost didn't make it to my appointments but um, I ended up getting fillers in my 
laugh lines, I, oh my gosh, I cannot stand them. They were so deep and it's just genetics. My mom has really deep smile lines. So does my sister, my other sister, and so do I. So I finally decided to see what I could do about them. And I went to Ideal Image here in Texas and they did such a great job. And then I also ended up doing a syringe on my lips. Like I said, I had not done my lips in almost two years and I really wasn't planning on maybe doing them anymore I was like I don't know should I should I not and I decided to just go for it for foundation I'm trying the it cosmetics bye bye foundation in this one what's this called whatever this is this is also from the 21 days of beauty I picked up the shade neutral medium by the way I bought this all online because I figured it's just easier so this contains SPF 50 and it's oil free and a matte finish so I'm excited to see how this is going to work oh my gosh I got eyeshadow all over my pants all over my fingers and it's all over the desk okay so that is the shade hopefully that works out for me so what is up you guys how you been how is your fall Texas weather is changing here and I am loving it also, this foundation brush is really good. It's the Pinnacle Foundation Brush by Anissa Beauty. I got this because of Rose Rose and Ben. I think that's her name on Instagram and on TikTok. She's a really good makeup artist. She's so fun. She's so cute. And she's so, like, bubbly. And she always talks about this. So I bought it. And I love it. I'm going to give the ABH Concealer another shot with you guys. Just so you can see it in action. And I'm going to take just a little bit because this stuff is definitely thick i honestly haven't looked up reviews to see what other people think about it but if you guys have tried it what are your thoughts on it like do you like it is it too thick do you love it i haven't tried it because i haven't been wearing like heavy makeup i've just been doing very light makeup um also something new is this sponge by the makeup shack i totally forgot about this brand honestly they used to be like super popular a few years ago and then I kind of stopped hurting, hurting. <laughs> I, I, I kind of stopped hearing about them hurting. Oh my gosh. So yeah, less is more with this concealer. It is definitely full coverage. So you do not need a lot. As you can see, like I'm able to spread that all around. I'm honestly kind of over doing the whole concealer in the forehead, down the nose. Like, I just don't know that it makes such a big difference on the way, like, my face looks. So I kind of stopped doing that a few weeks ago. Let's go in and set. I have already reviewed this product, so if you're interested, I will have a card up here. But this has just been my go-to product. It really makes the under eyes look so amazing. This is the She Glam Insta Ready under eye setting powder duo and i just use the shade translucent with this little triangle sponge um definitely kicks up on me though because it is so thick i'm gonna let my nose bake while we bronze i'm gonna take it old school you guys okay if you've been watching me for a while you know that this is one of my absolute favorite bronzers mag give me sun it's just a cold favorite and it never does me dirty i'm gonna take my absolute favorite brush you guys like these brushes are so amazing the quality is insane these are the rougher brushes and i just became an affiliate with them so if you guys do want to support me or my channel sorry i have a baby monitor down there um, I would really appreciate it if you use the link in the description box down below to buy the brushes. Um, you just won't regret it. Like these are such a great investment and they will last you forever. They're so, so good. So I'm just going to take that bronzer to the cheeks. Another new blush that I got from the 21 Days of Beauty are, or is the Cover FX monochromatic blush duo and this is in the shade warm honey they had a lot of really pretty colors but obviously this one was my favorite so i'm just going to top it off here these are super pigmented new highlight that i had to get my hands on is the new 
Alamar Cosmetics Sun Soaked High Shine Highlighter. This is in La Arena. Their packaging is just so cute, very like aesthetic and this highlight, you guys, oh my goodness. It's supposed to be like a cream to powder and it's so rich in pigment. I also picked up the brush that it came with, or it didn't come with it, but they have little duos. You guys are not ready for this highlight. Huh. This is perfect for my texture skin girls out there. Or if you have a little bit more mature skin, I think you would enjoy this because it is blinding, but it is so finely milled that it just like melts into the skin. You see that? Mm. Okay, so I decided that I'm actually going to use the Michaela palette. You guys have been asking for me to use it. If you don't have the Glamline Michaela palette, you can also use the Jaclyn Hill X um, Morphe Volume 2 palette. But I really want to create this like easy, like blown out purple smoky eye. Oh my gosh, I just have a vision. Okay, so using any shade you have, any yellow, let's take a yellow color. I'm going to take the Morphe M441, a super fluffy brush. It's not dirty, it's just stained. Um, and I'm just going to softly go over the edges. I'm actually just going to use this one to blend out the yellow since this is at the very top. I'm not too concerned about precision at least not yet next color is going to be an orange shade and i am going to use the one that i was using before the beach cosmetics weekend vibes number nine brush something a little bit smaller but not so small that you know a little bit smaller <laughs> i'm going to take the shade buffalo chicken so any orange shade that you have will work and i'm going to grab that and i'm going to uh, put that into the crease and these colors are super pigmented I'm gonna blend those until I am satisfied going back and forth as many times as you want okay now that I look like tied <laughs> I am going to take a P. Louise base. This is in the shade Vivid Violets and I'm going to pack it into the lid. I'm going to go back into the palette and take the shade Frisky, which is the deepest purple in the palette. And then we're just going to pack this all over the lid. And then I am going to take a small detail brush clean it off and I'm just going to go in with that same shade and then I'm going to slowly start working it up. I'm also going to apply some mascara. And then we're gonna pop on some lashes. I also added some color to the bottom lashes. I just did the same thing. I added the purple closest to the lash line and then I smoked it out with the orange and then topped it off with the yellow. Lashes are on, they're actually really pretty. I did cut them thinking that they were gonna be too long for me and now they're a little too short, so <laughs> don't do that. For the lips, I do have a new lip gloss that I wanna try. This is also from the Makeup Shack in the shade Gossip. And I'm just going to use an old lip liner from uh, NYX. It is the Downtown Beauty. It's one of my favorites. Okay, I don't know if I'm feeling this gloss. It's a little too... I don't feel like it goes with... With the eyes. I'm going to try this lip gloss. It is the Gilded Spirit by Ashley Strong and Morphe. This is new. So let's blend these together so you, we can get something a little nicer.
We're going to set the skin whatever primer you have. My absolute favorite one right now is the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. It just really locks in the makeup and it really sets it and it mattifies it. So that is the end of this full face of new makeup. It was mainly honestly like all high end with a sprinkle of a drugstore. I will have to do a tutorial with this palette because what I tried so far, that little foil shadow is so pigmented. So what do you guys think of this look? I feel like I kind of rushed it because I actually have to go, I'm running late, but it's still a really bomb fall smoky bright makeup look so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoyed today's uh makeup products let me know what your favorite item was that i tried today and don't forget to tag me on your recreations so i can show you some love on my instagram i love you all stay safe stay blessed and until next time i will see you in my next video bye Mwah.